In this video, we will look at exam style questions of logarithmic and exponential functions. You will find this on page 431 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Exam style questions. Solve the equation. Wow, and now you see it's an absolute value equation. Okay, so it starts as an absolute value equation and then the B part. Then solve the equation this and then it go to an exponential one. But this one is reflecting this two is something in common and I'll show you now. So giving the answer correct to three significant figures. So very important. First, revise absolute value equations in chapter 8. Okay, because I'm going to use the principles. If you cannot remember that, go to the videos, go to the textbook and first revise it. Okay, so what do we do with an absolute value equation? We make two sides. We take a positive, we take that positive option as well as the negative option. But what happens with this one? If you have there 3x and you bring that one over, negative 3x, it becomes 0x and that's why we say no solution. But this one can go on and if I simplify it, I get x is 7 over 6. And then don't forget, you must always check your answer. So take that 7 over 6, put it in the original and see if, if this two sides will be equal. Yes, absolute value become a positive, the two sides are equal, so this is a solution. Okay, now, if you look at this, if they say, hence solve the equation, um, I want you to show you in this, do you see, and I'm going to highlight the ones that's the same. There's a three, and there's a three, and there's a plus four, and there's a plus four, and there's a three, and there's a three. And there's a negative 11, and there's a negative 11. So, basically, that is the part that's different. So, basically, I can say x is equal to 2 to the power of y. The same there. x is equal to 2 to the power of y. I'm going to make bigger, that you see a little bit better. That exponents. Okay. So, I can keep it like that. So basically, I'm going to say 2 to the power of y equals x, equal x. And in the place of x, I can put that 7 over 6. And now it's exponential form, and I change it to log, um, to log um, actually to log form, but I think in this case it's better to take logs on both sides. So I take logs and I take logs. And then I bring the y down, I divide log, I divide log, and I just press it on my calculator, and they want the answer correct to three significant figures and that's how you do it okay um, I just want to see if you convert it and I want to show you something because I'm going to use it in the example uh, if you convert it to log then it would have been log are you with me uh, two and then seven over six I want to show you a principle here and that is equal to y now, how do you press that on a calculator? Now, that is actually changing of the base. Now, what do we do if we change and we want to press this on a calculator? We basically just going to give everyone a new base. So, we basically going to say log 7 over 6, the base is 10, over log 2, the base is 10. Do you see? And that's what you've got there. So, I wanted to show you that this can be going to this step, if I want to use it in, in next examples. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do two. So this is more like an equation, and this is an inequality. So do number one A and B, as well as number two A and B. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. Let's start. I'm first going to say it's number 1 and it's number A. Solve the equation and that's going to be x plus 2 equals x minus 13. And again I'm doing exactly the same. I make it x and again go to absolute values if you cannot recall it. I make the positive option which is just x minus 3, 13, okay, and the negative option x plus 2, which is negative 
x minus 13. And then this is going to be x, and do you see, as soon as it's coming over, it's going to become minus x. So basically, if you see that without even going further, you can just say no solution. But this one can. So it can be x plus 2 my equals minus x plus 13. So it's x plus x is equal to 13 minus 2. So it's 2x equals 11. I divide 2, I divide 2. So therefore, x is, leave it 11 over 2, or it doesn't matter, 5.5. That will also be correct. Okay. Now, I look at number B. And again, they say hinge. Usually when they use the word hinge, then it's meaning look up, look up. This one must help you. So hinge off the equation. And again, do you see? That's the same. That's the same. The ones that's different is this and this. Okay. So basically, I can say, okay, from the equation, um, I can basically just say 3 to the power, I'm just going to write it like this, 3 to the power y is equal to x. And I have x. So 3 to the power of y is equal to 5.5. Okay. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to put logs on both sides. So let's take this is log. Um, um, 3 to the power of y equals log 5.5. Just move it up a little bit. Bring the y to the front. Log 5.5. Then I divide log 3 and I divide log 3. And then I just take my calculator. I'm just looking at my calculator, it's fine. So I'm going to say log 5.5 divide log 3 equals, and I'm getting correct, did they say it? Three significant, so therefore y is equal to 1.55, and that's correct, three significant figures, as easy as that. Okay, let's look at number two. Okay, so now I'm going to go on and I'm going to say this is number 2 and I start with A. Solve the inequality. Okay, now if the inequality, don't forget, now again go to absolute values if you cannot recall it. But this is going to be 2x minus 5, smaller. And it's smaller. Now, can you remember when it was smaller? Okay. Then it was that middle side. And how did I come to that middle side? I was taking this 2x minus 5. So it was uh, presenting that. And then I would have said it's bigger. Just go. It's bigger than. And then I put the negative here. Okay. So it's x plus 3. And the positive I put here, x plus 3. So I put the negative there and the positive there, and it's that part. Okay, so this is the middle, this is on the sides, negative, positive. But go to absolute value inequalities, if you cannot recall it. Okay, now I'm going to solve it. So I'm going to get negative x minus 3, and it's, I'm going to break it up into... And then I'm going to have 2x minus 5, smaller 2x plus 3. Okay, and then it's negative x minus 2x is smaller than negative 5 plus, ooh, plus 3. And that's negative 3x is smaller than negative 2. Okay, but be careful now. As soon as you divide by a negative, what happens? And I don't even want to do it first. I first want to start, I want to say then x is bigger 
Okay, let's just see if I'm going to divide. Yes, x is bigger than 2 over 3. Because I'm dividing by a negative. Okay, let's finish this one. So this one, I usually like, if I'm doing it on the sides, I like to just draw a line here. Okay, stands out a little bit there. Okay, so this is going to be 2x minus, oh, let's just uh, minus the x. And this is going to be 3 plus 5. So this is going to be x is smaller, and that is going to be 8. And if I put it together, I'm going to say x is bigger than 2 over 3 and smaller to 8. Okay, so solve the inequality. That is my first step. Then I go to my second step, number B. And again, is that compare? So again, I use the word hinge. Find the largest integer y satisfy the inequality. And again, look what is the same. This is the same, this is the same. The 2 is the same, the 2 is the same. The 3 is the same, the 3. So where is the difference? x is equal to ln y. Do you see that? So I can start by saying x, or ln y, doesn't matter, ln y is equal to x. Okay, but now don't forget that I must substitute it in this place of x. So I'm going to basically say ln y ooh, sorry, is bigger than, okay, um, 2 over 3 and smaller than 8. Okay, so that is basically what I did with that. Now, again, uh, can I just uh, break both up to you? So it's going to be, and if I'm, I'm first going to write it separate. So I'm going to say 2 over 3 is bigger than ln y. I will now break it up. And then ln y, it's smaller than 8. And again, I'm, I'm busy doing two things, so I want to show you. Okay. And then... I'm just going to remember this base, this base is a E. Lin is always an E. So if I now go from, um, from exponential form, just to see how do I work it out, uh, work, work out Y, so then I'm going to say E, are you with me? And then I swap, 2 over 3, okay, and now I, I, I will keep it inside there, I'm just going to keep, keep my bigger, Okay, so let's just make it bigger than y. Okay, I'm first just going to make it equal. I'm first going to just find that values, and then I will put it back. And this one is e to the power 8, and I'm first going to just work out just that values. So I'm taking my calculator, and I'm going to press the following on my So, I'm going to say shift E bracket 2 divide 3 close the bracket equals. And I get Y is 1 point, to 3 signal 1.95. I will now put it back. 0.95. And this Y and E to the power of 8 shift e8 equals, and that is going to be 2980. Okay, first going to keep it like this, 0.95. Make it first two decimal places. Okay, so therefore I can end, so therefore I can say that y is bigger than 1.95 and smaller than 2980.95. But read the question. Hence, find the largest integer. Satisfy the integer. That means no comma. So, if this is the statement, I can go say, therefore, the law. Oh, sorry, let's just get the pink red. Law. Just integer is two nine eight 
zero. Because it must be smaller, but 2980 will be smaller, do you follow, than 2980.95, and that will be your answer. So therefore, um, each find the largest possible, therefore, okay, so the largest possible, okay, let's, let's rather just make a y is equal to 2980, and that will be your final answer.